So let's say you want to go from this to this. All you need is this. This is a one channel IFTTT relay controller. This board has seven digital contact closure inputs. Those inputs can be used to trigger notifications through the IFTTT service. As I said, the inputs can detect contact closure signals. A dry contact closure signal is an extremely common thing. It's generated by buttons, switches, motion detectors, outdoor generators, things of that nature. So what we can do is whenever those type of devices generate contact closures, we can send out an email or another form of notification. In this particular video, we're going to be concentrating on sending out an email whenever that contact closure happens. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to wire our simple button to the input of this board. So all we need to do is put one leg of the button into any one of the ground terminal inputs on the board. And then connect the other leg of the button to one of the GPIO inputs. Lastly, we just need to connect power. If you haven't already set up your particle photon relay board, please see the video for doing that before you proceed any further. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to test to make sure that the button connected to our board is actually publishing events to Particles Cloud. That's pretty easy to do after you've got the board all set up. Just head over to console.particle.io and sign in with your Particle account that you created from the setup process. Once you're here, there is a logs icon here on the left. Go ahead and click on that. The logs window will show any relevant information that's going on with your relay controller, like whenever you power it up and it comes online, whenever it goes offline, or whenever an input is tripped, which triggers an event. So at this point, if we hit the button connected to our input, we're going to see a new event published. The name of this event is input1 which I have my button connected to input 1. If I had my button connected to input 2, the name of the event would have been input underscore 2. The data is on. And if you click on that, you can see all kinds of relevant, uh, relevant information like a timestamp, um, the ID of the module that sent it, all kinds of good information. And over here, you can also see uh, the device that sent that information. Uh, mine happens to be named Travis-7. That's the name of my photon. So, if we continue to hit this button, we're going to see off and on events published to the particle cloud. So, now we need to take that and convert it into something we can use, like an email. So, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to ifttt.com. Once you're at ifttt.com, if you don't already have an account, go ahead and create one now. Once you've created an account, log in. Then once you're logged in, we need to hook up the particle channel. We do that by clicking the channels button up here at the top. And here we can search for channels. We're going to search for particle. If you just start typing it, it will come up right here you'll see that mine already shows that it's connected but you'll just need to click on that icon and then you'll need to connect channel basically you're going to click that and it's going to ask you to enter your particle credentials and then it's going to say fantastic your particle channel is now connected to IFTTT so IFTTT stands for if this then that in this particular recipe as IFTTT calls it our particle event is going to be the this. So now we need the then that part. That channel is going to be a Gmail email account. You will need a Gmail email account if you want to send text messages. So we'll go back to channels and add that now. 
go to channels and type in Gmail and you'll see the Gmail channel and it's going to ask you to connect it with this big blue button. Here you're going to want to select your particular Gmail account. And it will show you all the permissions that IFTTT would like to have on your Gmail account. You'll see it to be able to view and manage your mail, view your email messages and settings, view and modify but not delete your email, manage drafts, and send emails. This is the part we need. We'll go ahead and click on allow. And the channel's connected. That's all there is to it. So at this point, we want to actually make IFTTT do something. IFTTT calls if this then that processes recipes. So we'll click on my recipes up at the top. And now we want to create a recipe. And this will walk you step by step through the process. So we're going to click on the this, if this then that. That part is going to be the particle channel. So we'll type in particle and select particle. Now whenever we press the button connected to our particle photon relay board, it's going to publish a new event. So we want to select new event published. And then here it asks us for an event name and event contents. Now if we head back over to the console, we can see that the name of the event is input1. So we can come in here and we can actually just simply copy and paste this. And then for event context, contents is just going to be on. Which you can see right here, it's called data. We'll copy that, paste that in. Now we need to select the name of the particle device that's going to be publishing this event. We can see that back here as well under device. Mine happens to be Travis-7. And you'll see that I have a huge number of particle modules. So I'm going to scroll down to Travis-7, select it, and click Create Trigger. Great, so now we need the that part of the recipe. This is where we want to send the email. So we're going to use our Gmail channel. And the action that we have, which is the only action available, is to send an email. And we can enter an address here. You can actually send a text message to yourself using email. For Verizon, I know it's your phone number at vtex.com. I'm sure that Sprint, T-Mobile, AT&T, and other carriers have very similar email address uh, methods of sending a text message. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my phone number. at vtext.com and for the subject we're going to say alert and in the body we're going to type in someone is pushing your button we can also attach a uh, URL if you want to I'm not going to in this because uh, if I know someone pushed the button that's all I need to know so we'll click Create Action. Finally, we can give the recipe a name. We'll just say, for the name of this recipe, we're going to say Button Press Email. Feel free to name it whatever you want. And we'll click Create Recipe. Okay, now the recipe's created. Let's test it out. Mm -hmm. 
And there you have it. We have an alert that says someone is pushing your button. You'll also see I had a log from IFTTT. That's because I have IFTTT set to notify me whenever this recipe runs. You can turn that off if you want to. So that's about it. Now, anytime that button is pressed, you're going to get a text message that says button pressed. That's all there is to it. Pretty simple.